gonna do? What you gonna do when he streams for you? Sam, you're the man! I'm going to compare two of the biggest shooters on the console at the moment. Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Battlefield 1. <laughs> Don't even get me started on Battlefield 5. Jesus. Okay. You ready? Let's get started. Modern Warfare is an okay game. I didn't like the campaign much, so I just started playing the multiplayer. The multiplayer is very fast paced and the graphics are intense. The graphics are actually insane. You might think this is a good thing, but in fact, after playing the game for a bit, the graphics got so intense that I had to take a break, since I got a headache from playing it. There aren't many maps available at launch, and as of 6th of January, which is today, Piccadilly Circus is starting to smell quite a lot. How you level up is also quite strange in my opinion. Yes, I do get various upgrades for my favorite weapon, the shotgun, but I want to increase my available shotguns. Not possible in Call of Duty, as the new weapons that come available to you appear to be random stuff, so I'm still stuck with my R9-0 shotgun. The music in this game isn't really good either. It doesn't engage me and feels just like something you hear out of a crap beef flick, which you watch just because you're really bored. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. No, I'm tired of this. Let's move on to the next game, shall we? Battlefield 1. Just listen to the music for a bit. This is so much better. It sounds really good, and it just makes me want to explore World War One even more. Learn about the war, visit some real world sites, and listen to the music on Spotify as well. And here, the weapon system makes sense. I love shotguns, and playing with shotguns actually let other shotguns become available to me. Which is kind of what I want. One thing though that is better in Modern Warfare are the loading times. It really doesn't take a long while to get into the game in Modern Warfare. In Battlefield 1 however, it takes forever. Loading times can take ages. I have often fall asleep while waiting for a game to start. And that is not a good thing since then I can't play, even play the game when I'm sleeping. Have you ever tried playing a game while you're sleeping? Ah, uh, good luck with that. But, if I have had my couple of coffees, it is worth the wait though. Because just look at this beautiful game. This game is on the Xbox One, and not the PlayStation, so I don't get the headache and can play for longer. And even though half the time there ain't even people enough to actually start a game, as this game is starting to be a little bit old, look at how much fun me and some random guys had discovering what these pesky allies were doing inside this tank. Are you sleeping in there? Hello, come on, wake up! <laughs> the maps are also much bigger in Battlefield 1. 
which have the potential to become huge fights. And you can drive vehicles here too. Yes, you can drive a couple in Call of Duty as well, but not many, no. Here you can drive almost everything. You can even ride a stinky horse, if you so desire. Okay, so that is my comparison of two AAA shooters on the console. Oh yeah, and don't even get me started on Battlefield f